go through uh, a move from Qigong, the eight brocades form. Um, it's called Snake Head and Swing Tail. They've all got far out names. Um, and I'm going to go just firstly through very sort of quickly the move as you would do it in Qigong, and then add the Pilates um, awareness to it, the spinal awareness. Um, yeah, so you see the two ways you can do it. Again, generally in most Qigongs, I mean there's 40,000 forms on the planet, um, but again, you breathe into the lower abdomen, um, and again, you breathe on one stroke uh, on the sort of exhale to the side, and breathing back to neutral. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna do the breathing like that anyway. Um, but the breathing will be slightly different. It'd be the Pilates breath. So zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals as you do this. Okay, and we're gonna think of the spinal awareness as we do it. Um, the only way to explain your pelvic floor is your long journey, when you go to the toilet and you stop yourself going, that's your pelvic floor. Corset powerhouse girdle of strength is three layers deep. We get that by tucking the belly button towards the spine. And it's gonna engage the corset muscle three layers deep. Which is all segmentally stabilising our spine. They link on like cling film, these two muscles, and they go together. Again, generally about 30% of your maximum is good, um, unless you need more, obviously, if you're doing an ab exercise or something like that. But again, just lightly engage there and gather in and zip up in the hollow and scoop out your abdominals. Okay, and we're going to put this with a nice Qigong motion. So I'm going to go back to get my legs. Again, as with all these, only go in as deep as you like. Okay, so again, I'm going to start either here, feet slightly wider than hip width apart, or even more here. Okay, um, and go as deep as you like. What we're going to do is cause a bit of traction in the spine, so push down, and again, it's like my back, you'll feel it all cracks as the vertebras are opening up. Really push in. And then from here, we're going to breathe in, without falling over, <laughs> breathe in one way, then exhale the next, just thinking of the vertebras, stacking and unstacking, raveling and unraveling, breathing coming up one way, exhaling coming up the next. You can even, with the feet, just Pivot, okay, to help this, like as if you're sort of crushing a cockroach, you're breathing one way and you're exhaling up the next, okay, you're breathing in one way and you're exhaling back the next, so it's like a you're breathing through the nose. And you're exhaling through pursed lips, as if you're blowing out a candle, through pursed lips. Breathing in, stacking up them Lego bricks, then books, then vertebras. Then unstacking to the middle, then Lego bricks, then books, then vertebras. Then stacking again. So it's a... A tailbone to the crown, rolling under. Then back again. Thinking and talking to the bones. Raveling and unraveling. Winding and unwinding. If you want to go in deeper, you can do. So it's a... Breathing in one way and exhaling the next. Just as you're doing this, thinking of the vertebras. Just raveling and unraveling. Winding and unwinding. Wrapping and unwrapping from one move to the next like one dynamic hole. Okay, just thinking and talking with the bones. Lovely. Bang.